Hi beauties, welcome back or welcome if it's your first time. Always happy to have you. Let's update my stash today, okay? It's been a couple weeks. Um, I'm just kind of ready to get some new stuff in there. I have gotten some new stuff, so yeah, let's just go through it as usual. Um, let's start with the palettes that I've had in rotation. All right, first off, this palette was not initially in my stash, but I did get it and I filmed with it, so I threw it in my stash. I didn't use it other than the time I filmed with it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it in. There's some other things I want to use, so I'm probably going to put this back. I also had the three Super Shocks that came with this. The three Super Shocks that came with that collection. Again, only used those in that video that I filmed, so I probably will be putting those back. So the palettes that I did pull in were this beautiful, beautiful quad from DJ's Unique Boutique here. Um, this is the orange brown quad that she has. So, so lovely. I filmed with this. I really, really loved working with this. I think that these shadows are a great formula. Everything blended really well. The shimmers are beautiful don't have anything bad to say about it and then I put in my Catrice the five in a box shadows I have three different ones the only one I did not use was the modern smoky look here I did not use that one um, these were fine I, to be honest I mean they were fine I created some really pretty neutral looks with these. I mean, <laughs> what else can I say? There's a warm spice look. This one's super, super warm. And then you have um, golden nude look. So there's those. Each one has a couple shimmers, uh, you know, a light matte shade, a transition shade, and a deepening shade. So for what they are, these were really good. I do feel like the formula was really nice in these. It worked well. Again, don't have anything bad to say about them. Do I need all three? Probably not. Definitely not. Ugh, you guys, I'm a mess. Um, my Flower Beauty Desert Lights, they're foiled shadow palette. Used this a lot. Used this probably three or four times. I just love it. I adore it. Um, all of these shades are just stunning. This dark shade here, this Terra, it's a shimmer. It is a shimmer shade, but I, every time that I reach for this palette, I've been using this as like, I've been treating it like a matte and just kind of blending it in my outer corner to deepen things up. And it works beautifully, blends beautifully. Really, really enjoy this. You know how I feel about the jungle lights. This is on par with that palette. I had my two, I kept these in here too, the eyeliners from the Tinkerbell collection. I did not use the green. I used the brown a couple of times. Um, I'm just, I wasn't like super impressed. I didn't get a ton of color payoff from this on my waterline. It did not have good staying power. Just very underwhelmed, I guess. Used my Milani Bright Side Primer. You know I love this. It's beautiful, it's hydrating, it's lightweight, it's radiant. Love it. And the Clinique, even better foundation. Really, really loving this as well. A little bit goes a very long way. This is pretty full coverage. I would say at least medium, if not more. You can definitely build it up. Wears beautifully, looks beautiful. Um, I like it. I really have been into my Clinique foundations. I don't think I've worn Clinique foundation for years. I mean, probably since I was like in high school and I've really been enjoying it. All right, moving on to sort of complexion products. I threw my Flower Beauty Light Illusion in there. I did not use this, you guys. 
aside from that flower beauty video I filmed I did not use this to be honest with you um, I'm not wearing concealer today and actually the past few times I've done my makeup I haven't worn concealer um, so I haven't really used this and I'm probably gonna put it back um, I'm gonna keep my Neutrogena in there though when I do use concealer when I did use concealer this was the one I reached for it's just one of my favorites powder the Pat McGrath under eye I think I have dropped every single thing that I've picked up oh, um, and the Pat McGrath you guys the Pat McGrath under eye setting powder sublime this stuff is sublime I threw in the two new Flower Beauty blush bombs. I love these, you guys. I have loved wearing these. I love these new shades. Spiced is warmer. Cheeky is like a cooler, mauvey pink. They're so beautiful. So beautiful. I also threw in the new Flower Powder blush I had. This is Warm Hibiscus. This has a really, really pretty sheen to it i'm gonna see if it picks up for you see it there it's not like the most pigmented blush but it looks really nice as a blush topper or like for a more natural look like if you don't want to wear highlight or anything you just want a very like luminous blush i really liked this i used my patrick ta she's sculpted duo here you can see I've, I'm making a dip in the cream. I really have enjoyed this. Um, I don't have anything negative to say about it. I really do. I like the tone of both of these. The cream blends beautifully. Um, it's not patchy. It doesn't disrupt the, my makeup underneath it. It's just really, really easy to use. Glad that I got some more use out of that. And then my Aunt Razy highlighter. You guys, I, so I threw this in sort of thinking like, okay, let me give this one last hurrah because I probably will declutter this next time I go through my collection. And I don't know if I will. This is the highlighter I'm wearing today. I have loved using this. Like I really forgot how great this is. And I've had this for years. Like I've had this since it first came out and it still performs great I <laughs> I don't know that I will be able to get rid of this but we'll put it back but really enjoyed that I've been using my Pat McGrath dark star mascara um, I still don't really know how I feel about this um, it's it's okay and I kind of don't like that I feel that way about it because it was a pretty expensive mascara. I wish that I were like wowed by it, um, but it's it's okay. You know, I truly don't think it's something that I will repurchase. I will say I do find that this does not transfer on me at all. It's one of the few mascaras that I've tried that does not transfer at all. So I love that about it. I just don't find that it gives me any particular like length or volume or I don't know. I just, I'm not like, I'm not blown away by it. And maybe I kind of wish I was. Lips, I have been using this. This is the Tinkerbell like lip stain. This is what I'm wearing today. I do really enjoy this. Um, it does not fully dry down, but it's not like, it's not sticky. Um, I don't really enjoy the way that this wears, however, like after a day of eating and drinking and talking and all that, um, it just doesn't wear off evenly. You're kind of left with like the butthole effect. You know, <laughs> you, know you know what I mean? It, it just, it just doesn't wear off even. You're left with like a ring around your lips, which I just don't think is a cool look. Um, my Raw Beauty Christie, 
gloss, love it. And then I used my, I don't think I used this NARS Audacious Lipstick other than outside of uh, filming with it, but this is one of my favorites. I do really like this formula. I love this color. What else can I say? But that's it. That rounds out what I have been using these past couple weeks. So let me, as usual, get this put away, get you over to my stash. Okay, we're gonna try a little bit of a different angle here today when going through my products. So let's start in the top drawer, which is my base stuff. Um, I think I wanna try to use this a little bit more. This is brand new, the Vive Skin Nova. So let's do that. As far as concealer, I'm just gonna keep my um, Neutrogena in there and then my color corrector is always powder. You guys know I just rotate through the same like four or five powders. And honestly, I want to get some more use out of this. My number seven, this is their pressed powder, the Lift and Luminate. Okay, as far as base products, um, I really don't know what I want, you guys. I have, I don't have anything particular in mind. Um, I'm kind of tempted to pull in my Ease Drop because I've been loving this lately. So I might do that and then also pull in my flower get real yes. serum it's foundations fall. i know that it's almost fall but no. it really is still quite warm here yes. so lighter coverage fall. is best okay you guys my complexion drawer is a mess all right no no judgment um whatever you can judge I don't care it's but it's a nightmare um, I can't even fit everything in here once again um, what do I want to use okay bronzer my son wants to come in but my doors closed so he's playing very loudly outside my door. Okay, I think I wanna do a cream and a powder this round for bronzers. So I'm gonna pull in, this is the Vive uh, Modern Bronzer in uh, medium. I have medium one and medium two, so let's do that. And for cream, uh, I wanna get, let's do my Makeup by Mario. Let's do that. Um, oof. Blush, what do I want to do? Oh, I know. Okay, I got this just in the last couple days. I have been watching, oh my gosh, I'm going to forget the name of the channel. I'm so sorry. But anyway, I've been watching someone rave, rave about the Honest Beauty Cream Cheek and Lip Colors. So I got one in Coral Peach. I used it once and I'm already like so impressed. So I definitely wanna get some more use out of that. Um, I kinda wanna pull in my MAC Glow, Glow Play Blush. I've been thinking a lot about this. I love this formula. I love the way this looks. Let's do that as well. Um, do I want another blush? is the question you know what i want to use i have not gotten enough use out of my pat mcgrath blushes so let's do one of these i have what shade is this i have desert orchid oh my god you guys i'm dropping everything and then i have divine rose let's do divine rose because i feel like that's a little bit different of a tone that i want to use my new vive highlighter I have the shade Holy Chic. And you know what? I have really been thinking about this lately. My Rare Beauty highlighter. Let's do that too. I love this stuff so much. This is the shade Mesmerize. Okay, so that's good on complexion. Maybe I can finally close this drawer now. Okay, palettes. Um, 
You guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I have, I just got three new palettes yesterday. And I'm still waiting on one in the mail. So I'm probably going to pull in one or two of these. This is the Doll 10 Doll Squad. Does this actually have a name? Maybe that's what it is. Doll Squad. Anyway, I saw Jen Phelps unbox this on her channel and swatch it that name that shade is actually named after her but uh, this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today uh, I have a feeling I'm really really gonna like this these shimmers are beautiful these mattes are almost they almost feel creamy to the touch like they are so unique I really really want to get some use out of this so I'm gonna pull this in and I don't know if I wanted, I finally got the Glam palette. Actually, what I really wanted, I got online to get the Gold palette because I've wanted it for so long. And I was like, okay, I'm finally going to do it. I'm finally going to pull the trigger. And it's fucking discontinued. So, um, after I had a meltdown, no, I'm kidding. But I got, I decided the Glam would be my next best bet. So I have this in there. I don't know if I want to pull this in though, because that other one is already super, super neutral. And then I also got the Mercury Retrograde. I, this is another one that I've been wanting for so long. And I have never, ever, ever used Huda shadows. So I think I'm going to pull this one in. And this gives a little bit, like, the, yeah, there's neutrals in here, but this gives me a little bit more options as far as color. So let's do those two. Um, and I kind of, I've been debating whether or not I want to pull in some singles. Uh, let's not for now. Let's just leave it at those two palettes. Okay, and for lips, I went ahead and I just pulled a few. I got a Vive lip liner that I want to get some more use out of. This is the shade Brat. This is brand new. Um, this is a shade called Lace from, oh my God, I'm gonna forget the name of this line, you guys. This is a new black owned brand, um, Fashion Fair. That's what it is. At Sephora, I tried this. This is gorgeous. I can't wait to use this. That's the shade Lace. I also have really been wanting to use this. This is the Fenty Mademoiselle lipstick in the shade Stick, which is one of my absolute favorites. And then I want to get some more use out of my Prapa too. I have this beautiful red shade called Dream It, which I think will look really nice. Like, I love a warm neutral and a red lip. You already know. So let's do some quick swatches. okay let's do some quick swatches i kind of already showed you the palette but we'll swatch a couple shimmers i'm wearing this shade all over my eye today we'll swatch jen's shade here wow okay just wow love those and then the Mercury Retrograde. I I only swatched a couple of these shades when I got this palette yesterday. So let's go in. I'm excited to use this, you guys. Like I said, I've never really tried. Well, I haven't. I have never tried. Oh, look at those. Okay. Super pretty. Oh, I'm so excited to try that. My Makeup by Mario Cream Contour. Love it. You know how I feel about this. Oh, I can't wait to use that. <laughs> Love that product. This is the Rare Beauty Highlight. One of my favorite highlights probably of all time. It's seriously so easy to use and it's so beautiful. The Vive Highlight. And Holy Chic. There's that. My Pat McGrath blush. Which one did I choose? Divine Rose. Oh, yeah. Love her too. Very, very nice, like, satin formula for a blush. Excited to use that. I'm trying to make sure I don't have any 
shit on my fingers as I'm swatching here. Okay, this is the MAC Glow Play. Love her too. Love that blush. And the Honest blush in Coral. What did I say? Coral Peach? Yeah. Ugh, look at this. I'm going to do... We're just going to do a quick little swirl. Look at that. Look at that pigment. Ugh. Love it. And then the Vive bronzers. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about these, so I'm excited to get some more use out of them. I'm not really sold on the shade that I got. I'm almost thinking I should have got even like the next deeper shade of this, but what can you do? Let's swatch some lips. There's thick. This is such a beautiful matte formula. I love it. There's the Vive Lip Crayon in Brat. This is the, I'm going to keep forgetting the name of this, Fashion Fair. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Oh, that looks like it almost might be, well, I was thinking it might be close to that Revlon lipstick that I'm so obsessed with, or L'Oreal, excuse me. But maybe not, the closer I look at it. And then the Propa lipstick in Dream It, let's swatch it right here. Oh yes, this is perfect for fall. And those, that neutral palette. Love it, love it, okay. So, here's a picture of everything that I'm gonna be using for the next couple weeks. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, if you are not subscribed, please do so. <laughs> please subscribe, I would love to see you for my next video. Give me a like. Um, it really, really means a lot to me. But until next time, beauties, take care of yourselves and take care of each other.